a very good day to everyone who's listening to me and watching me right about now. I have a very powerful word just for you. My brothers and sisters, if you are new to this channel or if you have been watching me for the, a long time and you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe, like and share this video. Remember, you are not watching this message by mistake. You are not watching this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right now. My brothers and sisters, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want me to pray with you, if you want me to uh, speak to you, you can do so by sending me a message through my email address and my WhatsApp number. All those details are in the about section of this channel. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can let me know. You can also give through my PayPal, which is in the about section. If PayPal is giving you problems, you can send me a message and I will give you details where to give. My brothers and sisters, today's word is you will not die. You will live. In other words, you will live and not die. Some of you situations have come up against you. People have declared things that are negative towards you. People have spoken death over your life. Some of you things are dying. Your businesses is dying. Your family life is nowhere to be seen. Your relationships are dying. Some of you physically, you have a disease that even doctors cannot comprehend it. Even when they, 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 they try to know the cause of that disease, they cannot treat it. It seems like things are getting worse to worse. Some of you might have a mental illness, but I'm, I'm here to encourage you that that thing is not going to take you down because God is going to raise you up. Remember, you have the mind of Christ. God lives in you. Do you know what that means? For God to live in you, you are the temple of God. So God will preserve you. God has been preserving his chosen ones throughout generations. Look at Lot. When Sodom and Gomorrah was getting ready to be destroyed, God told Lot to flee the city. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he had to flee. That was preservation. Another example is the case of Noah and his family. God told them that he's getting ready to destroy the earth. And he told Noah to build a boat. To build a huge boat. And God was preserving his chosen ones. God will preserve you. Some of you, God has been preserving you. I want to read you a scripture that is in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37. And it reads, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of dry bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me son of man can these bones live? So I answered O oh Lord God you know. Again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to those, to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put snews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in in you and you shall live then you shall know that i am the lord so i prophesied as i was commanded and as i prophesied there was a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone indeed as i looked this news and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them over but there was no breath in them. 
Also he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and a breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, and exceedingly great amen. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, Our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up from your graves. What a powerful word. Ezekiel prophesied to the dry bones and they were able to live. Brothers and sisters, some of you, you need to prophesy to your situation. Don't wait for, for prophets to come and prophesy to you. Don't wait for pastors or apostles to come and prophesy to you. You can prophesy to your, to your life, to your body, to your business. You can speak life where people have been speaking negative, where people have been prophesying wrong about you. Prophesy life. Speak good about you. Ezekiel prophesied to the dry bones. Remember, these were dry bones, a heap of bones. Lifeless, without breath. He prophesied to them. And they were able to live. Brothers and sisters, your marriage will live. You will get married. Your relationships will live again. Your family life. Your finances will come back to life again. My brothers and sisters, trust God and God will lift you up. God will raise you up. Have faith in God. The Bible says faith pleases God. It is impossible to please God without faith. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to share this word. Remember that God loves you. Until next time, Shalom.